I'm thinking like bars oh, or muffins. Obviously, I grabbed a nut butter because it's my fave. So you're thinking energy bites, aren't you? Something we won't have to bake that'd be yeah. perfect. Kara's my good friend and nutritionist, and she's so amazing. So much so that we're working on an awesome project together that I'm super excited about. We're writing a book together. Did you guys know and that? And we're going to mess around with some recipes. You guys want to try it when we're ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 We'll test the recipe and we'll let one, you know when it's ready. Two, three, four, five, six. OK. Now that we can think again. OK. What's been going on? Crazy, oh, as always. Yeah, similar to you. You know, we did our kitchen, we've done our backyard, and me and Chris were like, it's time to do the bathrooms. Do you remember our master? It's almost. original. <laughs> yeah, it's original, and it's almost not functioning. I mean, I would love to help There's you. There's never, like, a great time, but, like, do you want to help? Oh, I would love to. Okay. How, how much do you guys have to spend? Well, we'll have to ask Chris, but I would say we have, like, 55. Yeah. We can totally make that work. Okay. <gasps> It'd be so fun. I know. Fun? Yeah. yeah. I would love to. Girls, you guys ready to try some? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Some treats. It's ready. Take a little bite. Should we put them in? Yeah! Yep. Will our clients Woo. love them? Yeah. Thanks, girls, for being the best taste testers. So what style are you guys thinking? The modern farmhouse. I like white and natural black. Natural wood. Yeah, natural wood. I like traditional, something that lasts the test of times, but I like anything new. New. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll give you new. Don't worry about that. Immediately, what? Like, I just feel like it feels a bit dark. But what's what else is not working for you? Well, so he, he hates light. Yeah, I love like bright light. Obviously, you know this. I work in the room. This is where you're doing that's all, my all work. the big stuff right here. This, yeah, that's okay. where I do my videos. That's my backdrop. I need that to look cool. Kara's nutrition business is centered around videos that she makes about health and wellness. And she records them all from her bedroom, so we need to make a space that works for her. I need the fireplace to look cool and stylish. I need it to be light and bright, so I don't have to bring in all this extra light in order to make my videos work. She would love to have a, a big chandelier and make it, make it super bright. Then let's give her one. I just like it a little bit softer. He's allergic to the light. He comes in every room and turns the lights off, shuts the blinds, like creates ambiance. OK when I'm trying to work. Wait, why? Why? I have a little bit of a light sensitivity. I'm also a little bit OCD. Ant has to step with his left foot first always. And if and if there's a crack, he won't care that I'm saying this. And if there's a crack, like he has to shuffle to get there. So it's like, imagine like the threshold is the fireplace and he wants to step onto it and his right foot's coming, he'll have to like shuffle. So his left foot always goes first. Oh my gosh, that's how he is with light. But this is my office space. So daytime is my room. Right? I'm just trying to make it a little bit more calm for her while she's working. Yeah, he thinks so. he knows how I like it. <laughs> it bothers me if one of the blinds is up and the other one's down. So, like, would this bother you? Yes. That's torture. Yeah, that's terrible. You're, like, messing with him. <laughs> OCD's going rrr, rrr, rrr. Let's go check out the bathroom. Like, it's literally falling apart. The shower hasn't really worked right since we lived here. The since toilet, we lived here? Yeah. We got a nut, our Wait, fit, my favorite stop. part about the shower is the... Uh, a handy dandy tool to start it. Screwdriver that turns it on. Me or that is always there? No, this is... Unfortunately, that's always been This is not flipper there. flop, but... <laughs> stop. Go Guys, ahead, give it a try. <laughs> you really needed me to come here. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> okay. If you could have anything in here, like, what would be your ultimate... Yeah, I really like to have a bigger shower. And I need a bench, and the girls are eventually going to need a bench. Okay. I have to do yoga, shaving my legs, and yeah. I'm not as agile as I used to be. No, 30s are hard work. <laughs> yeah, it's like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. able to remove all the drywall and all the framing. So I just want to make sure before we start putting everything back together that the size of the shower is what you guys are envisioning. So we're going to move this wall to where this two by four is right here. But because it's a plumbing wall, we're only going to be able to move it about six inches. Oh my gosh. That's like hardly different from the old wall. So where's my bench? It's going to be more like a footstool. Okay. A foot. So there's no sitting. There's only shaving like that. Like It's like the same size as it was. What about if we move that wall back into the closet? You're going to lose closet space. We'd have to reframe everything, move the electrical, 
because the switch won't be here anymore. Oh, okay. More tile and then more glass, but you're gonna gain about two feet. Oh, wow, that's what we want. What will that cost? So you're looking about $2,500. That's <sighs> a pretty good jump. It's worth it, right? I think we'd rather have the space in the shower than, in the, than using it in the closet. Yeah, we just have extra crap in the closet, so that's probably a good thing for us. Yeah, let's do that. All right. This one right here is flooring. Okay. This is a vinyl that looks like real wood. It can get wet. It is perfect for a bathroom, and I think it's really pretty. I really like it. I'm kind of surprised. Um, By the I'm way, just... her saying that she's kind of surprised means she initially shocked. doesn't like it. I am <laughs> actually really shocked, and I can't say that I do like it. You know how I am when I have something in my what mind. What did you have in your mind? Uh, I guess like okay. darker wood. Okay, let's let's complete the materials and okay. see it all together because I know just seeing this can be maybe a little shocking. So these cabinets. Easy enough. Countertop, this is a very oh, subtle yeah. marbling. That's beautiful. Yeah, I like, like that a lot, yeah. Oh, oh it's great. quartz. Mm -hmm. so it's it marble. actually looks like marble. Yeah. This is an option for handles, contrast. Oh, yeah, you can't not like that. Okay, now shower walls. This could be laid in two ways. It could be laid vertical, uh -huh. which is a little more modern, horizontal, a little more traditional. This, I was thinking shower pan and bench. Oh, yeah. Even though I always go for traditional, I kind of like the... This way? Yeah, the long way. Yeah, me too. That's what I I don't agree. I think it would be surprise. better horizontal. Really? Yeah. Did you expect there to be an argument over which way we lay it? Because <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I like it I can the other be a way. little OCD with my directions. I knew these two would disagree, but I didn't realize it would be this much. I just want everyone to be happy. To okay. This we can decide when it comes in. Now, the wow factor. I was thinking what could look really pretty and give you that spa-like feel is if we run oh. this tile behind the tub and up the wall behind the mirrors. It'll kind of give it a nice flow, and I think it'll make the room feel even bigger. I really like it. I think mm. it's going to feel open and big, and I think that's what we were going for. Oh, my gosh. I'm surprised. I know. <laughs> I'm going done. home. We're done. <laughs> it's a walk-off. My mind is blown right now. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> yeah. So how are you feeling about the flooring now that it's all coming together like this? I'm just so bad at the visual. Like, I'm. It's just not my thing. It's definitely a bit nerve wracking when you present something to clients and they act a bit unsure, especially when those clients are your friends. And I definitely want both of them to love the space. I love this. I think it represents both your styles. I think it still has the traditional elements, but I also think that we're adding a little bit of flair with this type of tile versus a simple subway. And it, I think it's totally timeless. Yeah, I have mm. infinite trust for you and I, I love your style and you know our style, so like, Let's do it. Okay. The bathroom's moving along, but I don't want the bedroom to fall behind, so the top priority is that fireplace. Okay, so we need to talk about the fireplace, but first, I know you want this area closed off, right? Like you want to be able to separate the bathroom to the bedroom. Yes. As opposed to a door that shuts, I think what would look really pretty and go with your style would be a barn door. Oh, yeah. But oh. then when you slide it open, you'd have to move your TV and the only spot would really be above the fireplace. Which is my backdrop. Right. So I think the TV right there would be great and get a big, brand new TV right That's there. That's his dream come true. Oh, That's so what he's like that. always wanted. Well, no, he likes it. Oh. He's always wanted. He sleeps on this side of the bed. He wants the TV to, like, come out of his face, I guess. But this is where I work, and, like, this is my backdrop. Like, I set up a camera over here. I pull my chair in front. I sit here, and I do my educational videos, and I think it's important to have, like, a nice backdrop. I definitely see where you're coming from. I feel like what could look really nice and what's in a lot of offices is if we set something on the television, whether it's like a nature scene. It could be the beach or the mountains Aww. or your logo. Now you're speaking my language. As long as we can make the rest of this look really amazing, I guess I could be open to that. Okay, so in the past when we've talked, you've mentioned cement tile. Is that still what we're thinking? That's, I was, uh, I was really what? thinking maybe we could do like brick tile. I think it's a little bit more simple. I think cement tile can be really busy and maybe a little bit crazy. I like, I've always had it in my mind that I wanted the pattern, the concrete. I thought that you wanted it too. You changed your mind? I really think the brick would look 
good, depending on what you think. I think the best bet is because there's so many options for brick and there's so many options for cement tile. I think we should go shopping. That way we can both pick some things, we can look at everything and decide. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. That sounds great. Now that the bathroom is coming together, we need to talk about the master bedroom. Yes. I can't wait to do this. First, flooring. So what I was thinking is, because that flooring looks so beautiful in the bathroom, we run the flooring in the bedroom as well. I was hoping to have carpet in here. Carpet? To keep it a little bit, I don't know, bedrooms to me feel like carpet goes a little bit better. Oh my god, I haven't done carpet so long. <laughs> what are your thoughts? <laughs> I, I mean, it's weird because I kind of like carpet in the bedroom too. Okay. Carpet? Oh man. She's hyperventilating. <laughs> I think I've seen too many disgusting carpets on Flip or Flop. I'm just so turned off by carpet. I feel like it just absorbs everything. I mean, have you ever removed carpet from somewhere? Like, it's, it's not a pretty sight. Visually, I think that the look of the vinyl flowing in the bedroom will look so pretty. And I think we could run it in a way that's visually appealing. Like, we run it from the door into the bedroom, so it's kind of at an angle. Uh -huh. That'll give it, like, kind of a fresh look, and plus I just think the flow going from the bathroom to the bedroom will just make the room feel so cohesive and like just one big space as opposed to separate. And we could do a lot of layered rugs. So when you get off the bed, your feet aren't gonna hit the vinyl, they'll still, still on hit carpet. plush. My favorite plush. piece in the house is the rug in the laundry room that I trip over every time I go through. <laughs> so if you could get one like right here that I could trip over as I walk through, that would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so carpet would be like $500 as opposed to new vinyl, which would be roughly $1,500. It's actually not as much as I expected. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad. If it flows all the way through, oh, yeah. but you angle the flooring yes. in here differently, yes, I think that would work well. Yes. I'm, I'm just really excited to watch him trip over the rugs. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make sure you don't trip. They're going to be nice and positioned under the bed. Uh. It's been a few months. You guys have been troopers. I know you've been living in the bonus room in chaos. So are you ready? Yes. We are ready. Beyond ready. Okay, I'm excited. Oh my gosh. This looks awesome. Wow. I can't, I don't even know where to start. It looks like a whole different room, right? It yeah. looks it's like completely you just stepped different. into somebody else's house. <laughs> Seriously. I'm really glad that we didn't end up doing carpet in here. I know I kind of voted Whoa. for that. Wow. Yeah, it looks great. Did my ears deceive me? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> always right. The, the floor The floor looks really good. I love it. I really like the shiplap, too. That ties everything together. And Chris, I know you wanted brick, but now that the tile's up, what are you thinking? It's awesome. contrast of the white with the cement tile and the accents and this hearth looks so pretty, the marble. It is pretty. Is this the same from the bathroom? Yes. Oh my gosh, yeah. I just now noticed that. That looks incredible. This is gonna be so nice to just like turn on the fire and mm -hmm. lay in bed. And I've never really had that feel in our room where I just wanna like be in there and lay. Yeah, you know? it's such a retreat. Yeah. It feels amazing. Thank you. I love that. That's exactly what I wanna hear. Yeah. And important as well is this is your office. We can just put you right here. We can turn something on the television. Yeah, this is usually where I sit for my videos. I'm gonna show like... you what you look like. You look pretty phenomenal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can just see it. You're it's like, a great presenting backdrop. your client something. There's gonna, gonna be, be something like... on the television, like your little note. Oh, uh, oh, that's such a good idea. Right? The notch of creativity that's gonna go up by having a space that is so beautiful and just like simple and calming is gonna be awesome. My productivity, I just can already feel that it's gonna be amazing. What do you guys think about the barn door? For so many reasons, we love this door. The hardware turned out amazing. I think the contrast of the white and black is amazing. Totally, I love that. It's yeah. awesome. It really separates the two rooms yeah. uh, for sure.